Ooh, so I haven't been doing too good a job writing a blog, so I thought I might try um, some video. Uh, seeing it on the screen, it looks like it's uh, having trouble with the color or the lighting, and that's because I'm in a four-sided yellow tent wearing an orange jacket, uh, in all likelihood. But anyway, we'll start uh, from uh, the beginning. Chris McKay and uh, Vladimir and Valeri and I uh, boarded the uh, Aleutian and flew down to uh, Novo uh, Station. Um, we went. We stayed at the Antarctic Logistics Company Incorporated uh, guest house called the Oasis Guest House um, in, until uh, November 13th. So we organized some gear, but Ian and Dale had organized much of it uh, before that. They arrived a little bit earlier. Um, we loaded up uh, trucks. Um, they're Toyota Hilux trucks that are adapted by um, a, an Icelandic company uh, for use in Antarctica. So we sent the first load of three trucks and trailers uh, with Dale and Ian to Lake Undersea on November 12th. And on November 13th, we loaded up the trucks again. Ian and Dale drove the uh, skidoos, or snowmobiles, out to Lake Untersea. And the rest of us loaded the, the three trucks. So uh, we only used one trailer for gear and one for fuel. And drove out after them in case something happened, which of course uh, nothing did. Uh, so the 13th, uh, we spent the rest of the day setting up camp. Uh, lots of tents. And on the 14th, it was more uh, setting up camp, setting up uh, science tents, uh, things like that. So we had great weather on the 14th, uh, 15th, and 16th, and we uh, started melting the dive hole. And um, we got that uh, mostly melted. And the weather uh, turned bad on November 20th. Uh, which was Sunday, and by bad, um, didn't mean cold, it wasn't too cold, uh, but we had uh, very gusty winds, and um, according to Dale, we had gusts up to 30 meters per second, so it'd be calm and uh, beautiful and quiet, a little bit cloudy, uh, sometimes sunny sometimes, then you could start to hear the roar of the winds, and depending on where that roar was coming from, uh, 10 seconds later, or sometimes a little longer, you'd have this blast of, of wind wall of uh, wind um, coming at us. So uh, there wasn't much sleeping that night. Um, and then the next day, we still had windy weather, and it collapsed uh, Dale's tent, which was also the dive tent. And uh, so we uh, sort of cleaned things up for him. And then... Uh, today, it's still been a little bit blustery, but not nearly uh, so bad. So we set up a new tent uh, for Dale. It's the same type. It's a North Face uh, dome tent. and uh, But this time we rotated it so a different part's facing into the wind, and it's a better sight, so the, the tent's a little bit uh, flatter. Uh, besides Dale's tent, nothing much um, collapsed in the wind. Um, uh, we had to keep tying down tents, tightening up the ties and, and things like that. Um, some abraded loose, some uh, just came loose. Uh, we lost a windscreen for one of the skidoos, um, and probably a couple little things that we haven't found yet. But in general, uh, we've weathered the wind um, quite well. So the weather is uh, getting better. We have a dive hole melted, and uh, we're hoping that uh, we can do the first diving uh, tomorrow. On other science fronts, um, Vladimir and uh, Valeri have been making great progress on on their science. Um, we drilled a hole through the ice above um, the anoxic uh, subbasin in Lake Guntersee, and they've been uh, collecting water, filtering it. Um, uh, Vladimir is filtering water to look at uh, the genetics of the bacteria in the pelagic biomass, and uh, Valeri has done some incubation experiments um, for photosynthesis um, in situ in the water, as well as uh, methane uh, generation and methane oxidation um, in water from various steps. Um, but those uh, don't have to be in situ because the light doesn't matter. So we've done a couple light profiles. Um, Chris has collected some uh, samples for oxygen and hydrogen isotopes, and Ian has the uh, DIC analyzer going, and um, we collected water uh, yesterday for that in a profile, and uh, he's measured those. Um, 
the bulk of the water column only has 13 micromoles um, per liter, I think that's the units, of DIC, so it's very low. So we sort of, we have our first science results um, coming back, um, and Chris has been working on the meteorological data. So all's going well for our uh, first week in camp. And I will try to do a better update, and we'll try the uh, video logs, uh, since I'm not really writing much. So thanks for watching.